Hello there everyone, this is Analog Savior, and I have a, a bit of a special video for you today. Um, it's not a cover, or an original piece. Uh, today I got my package from Sonoyo. You're probably thinking, who is that? Well, that is Alessandro Cortini's new uh, solo project, and um, he kind of did an interesting release thing where he... Uh, offered up various packages like many artists are doing now. You can download it just as an MP3. You could go ahead, buy it with the physical CD, maybe get a t-shirt in there. But then there was a special one called the Geek Package. He included a t-shirt, CD, signed art prints, and a synth sound module. So I naturally, I'm a big fan of Alessandro Cortini. If you ever watched this, Alessandro, hi. I'm a big fan, but anyways, um, I got it today, and uh, I'm here to show it to you. So, uh, start off, let's uh, bring out a couple of things I got here. Well, first I'll start off with the CD. Right here we have, uh, let me see it. All right, that's the uh, CD the project, Sonoyo, and uh, it's numbered and signed on the inside cover by Alessandro. Had a shirt included in there, really can't see it here, just want to get this through there. Um, have the signed art print, this part I'll open it up. It's also signed. I'll probably include a part in there uh, where you can actually see everything in detail. But uh, yeah, so those are kind of the uh, nice bits here. And uh, the last part was the synthesizer. It was designed by Alessandro and uh, Scott Yeager, the Harvest Man. Uh, and uh, here, let me move the camera so you can take a look at it. All right, that should be it right there. Um, sorry for the mess. Got a lot of uh, <laughs> been recording some other things and uh, just got a mess of cables right now. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. I just got it. Opened it up a little bit ago. Just put the battery in and uh, we're gonna turn it on. So I've got this going out through the quarter inch jack that was included on the instrument. And uh, I'm going out through my bass amp, and I'm uh, recording what's going to be coming out of that. All right. So let me give you uh, an idea of how this uh, it's set up. Obviously, you got your battery. It has a built-in speaker right here. So if you don't have an amp or something to put it through, you can just really play it anywhere. Let's see. We have two sample things, I guess. I know exactly what you want to call them. Two samplers. There we go. Um, each one has 16 samples. They're the same. And uh, they include sounds from the album, Sonoyo. And uh, oh, I forgot to include, I'll probably somewhere in here include uh, links to uh, Scott Yeager's uh, Harvest Man uh, uh, website and to Alessandro's uh, Sonoyo website. So you can go and check it out yourself. Um, so we have two samplers. On the two sides here, we can change their frequencies. So change the pitch of the sound you're hearing. Then at the bottom here, we have two essentially like effect stations with distortions and LFOs to affect your two samples. 
And then we have your modulation amount for your uh, LFOs, your frequencies, uh, the frequency of the modulation, and then we have your uh, mixer at the top right here. And then here we have volume. So um, I'll go ahead and run you through everything here and uh, you can get an idea of how this sounds like. So here we go, power switch, and it's on. Uh, there we go. So first thing I'm gonna do is run through the uh, various samples. I'm all the way on one side, so you only hear one of the samplers right now. So. That's all 16 samples. I might have skipped one. I didn't actually count them there, but that's pretty much all the sounds that come on this. Um, okay, so first thing, let's uh, check out how you can mess with the pitch. So this one right here, frequency A, we'll change the frequency of uh, sample A. to a stop. <laughs> All right, so that's your uh, frequency and sample. Now let's uh, use the crossfader, this middle one right here, and we can go ahead and uh, crossfade to the other sound. So these two don't particularly fit well, or maybe they do. It's up to you. But you can change the other one. I got the same sample in sync there. But you get the idea. I can crossfade between each one and you get all these. That's essentially how you mix your two sounds here. Alrighty, so what's next on the list here? Alright, I'm gonna start going through the effects. I'm all the way on one side here, so let's uh, go ahead. The first effect I'm going to show you is uh, number one on sample A. This is going to be distortion number one, and this is the uh, loud distortion included on it. Now, these little things here, these are the uh, jumpers that were included. This is how we activate and turn off everything on the on the Sonoyo, or Suonoyo. There you go. Um, so here we go. Just go ahead and kind of... That's your distortion one. Next one, distortion two. A bit more subtle, supposed to be more of a, a big crushing kind of a uh, distortion. See what's next. Next we have cross mod where we the reading off the pad here. The audio output of the other channel controls the pitch. We can adjust this using the modulation amount for the depth. So here we go. Number three.
can get some interesting effects with that. And this might be long, so um, I might break this up into multiple parts. All right, so let's just move along. Just wanted to get that out there. Um, next effect is backwards. I think that's self-explanatory. I'm actually digging this one right here. <laughs> All right, next I'm gonna hit the LFOs. This first one is for frequency. All right, so this one I'm moving in here is the modulation frequency that modulates how fast it modulates, yeah. And next we have uh, amount, which is depth. So that's essentially zero. Big depth on there. Now, now we're heading into hyperspace here. <laughs> okay, so that's the uh, LFO modifying the uh, frequency. And just a note on the LFO, it, all it is is a simple sawtooth. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, and now here we go to probably my favorite one here. The LFO modifying the window and this is here just listen it's ridiculous it's crazy really have no idea what the heck this thing is modifying but it's crazy <laughs> Let's try a different sample. Yeah, I just opened this right now and I'm already making music. All right, so that's the LFO modifying the window. Look at this, oh, that's great. All right, next, LFO modifying the amplitude. And uh, for the last one, I'm going to go ahead and go back to window because that sounded so cool. So I'm going to take another jumper right here. And I'm going to go ahead and add it to the last one, which is an LFO invert. So it just changes the uh, direction of the saw wave. Okay, so maybe that wasn't the best example there. Let's try pitch with the invert there we go so you can really hear that it just takes it turns it around all right so that's essentially the effects on each sampler each one has the same effects so you can mix match there's uh, one, two, three, four, eight jumpers, and there's also a couple mini patch cables, which I'll show you in a little bit. 